Hey friends, this is Wes from The Hub. We all know animal testing can freak a lot of people out, and for good reason. But what about human testing? Do you think animal testing should be legal? How about human testing? Unfortunately, sometimes experimenting on humans is the only way to progress science. And every once in a while, the results have been so crazy, they left the scientists scratching in their heads. And we're not talking about a scene from Stranger Things here. We're talking about real life. The first topic I want to talk to you about is the Milgram experiment. Humans like to think that we're inherently good, meaning that when we're put in a bad situation, we do the right thing most of the time. But in 1961, scientist Stanley Milgram's whole world got turned upside down when that didn't exactly turn out to be true. He asked participants to administer a memory game to who they thought was another test subject. If the memory game learner answered wrong, the teacher was supposed to press a button that gave him an electric shock, and not just some little zap. They were told each one would be more powerful and painful than the last. During the experiment, the actor would scream out in pain after mentioning they had a heart condition and eventually go silent altogether. Milgram's fellow research partners thought very few people would follow through on pressing the button, but it turned out that the opposite was true. Initially, it was predicted that only around 4% of participants would use the full voltage. But shockingly, around 65% of the teachers continued to zap the learner. It's kind of a horrifying idea that when given instruction, most people will blindly follow them, even if it means badly hurting another person or worse. Would you keep pushing the button? What if it hurt another person? If that wasn't creepy enough, scientists have also worked on something that sounds like it's out of a horror movie. This isn't the human centipede, but it's kind of close. It actually stems from a kind of a positive place. The world needs more donor organs for transplants. In the past, scientists have tried to use pig organs but our immune systems would mainly reject them. They also try to use human stem cells to try to create new organs altogether, but we weren't there yet. So what was the solution? To create human-pig hybrid organs, of course. Society usually thinks of the animal-human hybrid as something out of legend. It sounds impossible, and people write fantastic or funny stories about it a lot, and public funding can't even be used to try. Somewhere along the line, our government decided it was unethical. I mean, would you want to see one of those things roaming around? Probably not. Lucky for them, their experiments were able to get private funding. The Salk Institute for Biological Studies proved that it was actually possible to grow human tissue inside of a pig. Now the only thing left to do is to grow entire human organs inside of a pig. That way, we don't have to rely on other humans exclusively for organ transplants. Let's just hope it stops there before werewolves and dogmen are living among us. Unless you think that's sort of cool, I don't. Well, what do you think? Did these experiments go too far? Or is it worth it to advance science? Let us know down in the comments. And also let us know what videos you want us to make in the future. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.